this video, we're going to find out what it takes to defeat a dragon and a king in a game that features no gacha system when it comes to collecting powerful new characters. Special thanks goes to Lord of Heroes for sponsoring this video, so make sure to check it out using the link in the description. Even though at first look it might seem like Lord of Heroes is your typical gacha game where the main focus is summoning for new characters, it's actually the opposite and there's a reason why we have the Lord in the title, because you are the one and true commander of all the allies you encounter and the main way you will build your roster of heroes will be through contracts. And the beauty of these contracts is that you can pick and choose whichever character you want to focus on and then set your sights on recruiting them. And there's many ways how you can start building your dream team of heroes, one of which involves by actually conquering the world. And Fighting a war in this game not only spans through multiple regions, but it will actually take you through a journey in time and space, where you will encounter different outcomes of the events that followed, so if you're someone who appreciates epic storytelling, you can expect to find many plot twists, but going back to our contracts, another popular way to unlock new heroes involves by simply being active in the game, and you can actually unlock some of the most powerful and insanely useful heroes just by logging in for several days in a row, and one of the heroes we chose to unlock is Krom, who is going to take on the challenge of trying to beat the dragon and the opposing king of the region. But defeating these foes won't come easy and we need to be prepared if we want to conquer these lands. Back in the Citadel, we need to decide which heroes to take on this journey. Obviously, we want to get Krom, who's able to make everyone activate more often, but he's also able to dish out some serious damage as well. Then we need someone who's a dedicated damage dealer, and Mikhail fits the role perfectly, especially because he's from the Dark Element, which has the best advantage against other elements. We also need to get someone who's less conventional and doesn't fit the type of your typical anime character, and Helga will be our third party member. Let's not forget a healer, so Vanessa will keep everyone alive through the power of music, and finally, we have a hot-tempered Zyra, who actually started out as one of the first 3-star characters, but in this game, anyone can fully become a 6-star character, and not a single hero gets left behind, so you're never going to waste your resources on leveling the wrong kind of character. Now, taking them through the first few missions will be a breeze, and it's also important to keep in mind that there are a couple of mechanics that keeps the game fresh, one of which is attack system, where you have a chance of unleashing one of your attacks in synchronization with another of your party members, so a mixed attack can surprise you at the lowest points of your battles. But probably the coolest thing you can do is by combining several ultimate abilities into one and they actually deal increased damage, not to mention you unload all the nasty side effects these abilities come with. One good way to prepare before a hard boss battle would be to save up all the energy you have and then when you move on to the next round, unleash the combined ultimates of your strongest heroes and watch the big bad boss cover in fear. And as we already seen, we first need to take care of this dragon before we can get to the king, but sadly, it turns out that while we had the heart in our team building, we were still lacking in better equipment and even when putting up a fierce fight, the numbers were lacking and we need to get back to the drawing board if we want to take out this giant guardian. And this is where equipment comes in, which can be obtained in two ways. You can either complete some of the quests or you could also use forging, but there's actually a third option and the reason why you don't summon for heroes would be because the game actually uses a gacha system for equipment. And that's the unique part of the game. While you can collect heroes from various different contracts, the weapons and armor will mostly come through the gacha system, which is called alchemy. And there are several different banners that each feature an increased appearance rate for certain character equipment, and we definitely want to get something for our Mikhail, who we can see has a whole banner for him. And unlike what you've seen elsewhere, you actually get the rarest possible drop when you go for the 10 pull, which will give you 11 pulls instead, and one of them being a guaranteed 6 star artifact that not only provides stats, but also comes embedded with a boost for one of your heroes, hence why we have these banners that feature improved the appearance rate for these artifacts. And luckily enough, we get an artifact from Mikhail who will surely use it to power him up and the rest of the equipment we got will be put onto other characters and we move once again into the region of the Great Guardian and surely enough, with enough time and energy, we defeat it and go for the few remaining regions until we meet the king himself. The king, or as it turns out, the emperor of the region, is by no means a pushover and he definitely looks like someone who just came from the last boss fight of one of those strategy games. He hits hard and his abilities target everyone in the party, so no matter what formations you use, it's impossible to escape his powerful blows. But using our equipment and the combination of several ultimate attacks, the fight is a tough one to beat, but we're able to take back the land and make the enemy flee. 
and after beating these two strong boss fights, there's still a lot we need to explore, one of which involves making Chrom stronger by ascending him, and one of the cool things you get to do is permanently change the look of the character. In this case, we managed to get Chrom to his first ascension, which visually gives him more armor, and on his second ascension, he's going to be rocking that sweet full plate armor, and even his stars turn from purple to orange to let you know you've got one awesome knight in your team. And this brings us to the end of our journey. We made some contracts, built a team, and took the challenge to take out the two out of many bosses that you get to face off in the game. There's a lot to love about Lore of Heroes, and one of the things that's awesome about it is obviously you don't need to depend on the gacha system in order to unlock the new characters. Pair this together with silky smooth animations and satisfying ultimate attacks, and you've got yourself one fascinating gacha game that can still give you a nice rush of excitement when you go for the equipment summoning. Either way, it's exciting to see if we will face off an even stronger version of the king in the next timeline of hard difficulty we're progressing through. And if you still haven't done already, we highly recommend for you to check out Lord of Heroes by using the link in the description, and even though this is a sponsored video, we believe Lord of Heroes is the perfect fit for those who enjoy collecting awesome characters without depending on the gacha system. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to gently press the like button and let us know in the comments if you prefer using heroes that have hard-hitting attacks or love the idea of using strategic abilities instead. And as always, thank you for your support in helping this channel produce more videos, and you can help us out even more by checking out Lord of Heroes and using the link in the description. Thank you for watching us, and we'll see you in the next video.